Bleach is a spada make no goddamn sense. This is what I would say if I was cosplaying as a fucking moron. I mean, there is no possible way that anybody in their right mind would read or watch Bleach and think that this villain group makes no sense, right? right guys what is up guys broken run in here and in this video i'll be subjecting myself to extreme and copious amounts of torture and debunking a cbr list that goes over 10 things about the espada that don't make sense now considering my own deteriorating mental state and cbr track record i can rather safely assume that bullshit is afoot regardless of that fact let's jump right into it with number 10 their uniform the number 10 the thing to kick off 10 things about the espada that don't make sense cbr chooses their uniforms and their argument is because the espada don't all wear the exact same clothing they don't make sense the argument is really just based off the fact that they think it should be a uniform kind of like a soul reaper where it's never explicitly stated or even implied that their character designs are supposed to be uniform in that manner in fact in my opinion it makes quite a bit more sense for the character's character design to reflect how they are what their personality is and how they have their outlook on the world and hollows as a whole rather than just have them all be uniform because they are completely different characters with completely different motivations uh themes narratives and all that kind of stuff so i mean to just think for no reason mind you there's nothing in the series that implies that they should be wearing the same exact clothes to say that that doesn't make sense and that's one of the 10 things that doesn't make sense about the espada is quite dumb now with that being said uh, number nine we have why the espada need huge palaces i can answer that for you really quick uh, they fucking don't right they don't need huge palaces right but just because they don't need it doesn't mean they don't necessarily want it or have it right i mean what doesn't make sense about that uh, you know they don't have to go out and fucking obliterate ichigo whenever he pops up but they do that anyways i mean why does not needing it not make sense a lot of the espada are either very arrogant or very powerful and it just happens to be their residential area right like sile opero needs it for his experiments as mentioned in the cbr list but like he's really the only one or like maybe the espada number 10 is portrayed to have a really big palace i guess but they don't have like their own separate sectors of an all of waco mundo right it's not like they're wasting any space waco mundo is like an infinite place right it has infinite amount of sand and therefore it is you know an infinite in size so it's not like they're running out of room and they have if they want a big spot they have a big spot and it's pretty simple and number eight why the strongest espada aren't mobilized sooner all part of aizen's plan if he mobilized them sooner ichigo would have died and that would have been counterintuitive to what he wanted if you read the series or watched it you would know that right all you have to fucking do is you know read with your eyes open or watch he doesn't want ichigo to die he needs ichigo to progressively get stronger and progressively grow to someone that can somewhat fight him and in order to do that he can't get killed right out the gate if he sent ukiora right after ichigo to kill him right it wouldn't have worked well ichigo needed to grow first he needed to develop and he needed to get stronger simple as that the next thing that they want to bring up that doesn't make sense with the espada is the kaja negacion which for all those that don't remember the specific name is basically like the battlefield removal the spatial thing where it basically puts an espada member or a rankar more generally into a pocket dimension and leaves them there depending on how strong they are it can be permanently if they're like an espada and then they can break out after a few hours right that's about it they're saying it doesn't make sense because it's used very sparingly and that it's a weird punishment but i mean this comes from the same group of people who kill for fun and you know the leader who literally can spiritual neg you just by sitting there i don't think putting somebody in an alternate dimension in order to punish them permanently is really a weird punishment when you consider all the fucked up thing aizen does in bleed i mean manipulates every body around him in order to become a stronger and less like godlike figure stabs plenty of people kills his own creations all sorts of stuff right so why is teleporting somebody away like this oh fucking no like it doesn't make any sense it makes perfect sense right it makes a lot of sense and it was used in order to have grimjo and uh, ichigo fight each other the fact that it's not really mentioned after that is not really that important because it doesn't have a narrative usage after that eyes and leaves the uh, wake of mundo and everything kind of resolves itself number six why is shark allowed to be lazy he's number one of the espada i mean he's pretty strong uh 
That's it. And even if he's lazy, he has a sense of self-preservation. So that laziness will never stop him from fighting a Soul Reaper. Because typically, Soul Reapers are going to fight him if he's presented in front of them, right? They're enemies. They're kind of quote-unquote natural-born enemies or whatever. So even if he's lazy and he doesn't want to fight, if they attack him, he's not just going to sit there like a fucking dumbass, right? He's going to he's gonna fight back. Uh, in any case, number five, the Espadas almost never take orders from Kaname Tozen. Tozen doesn't really deal out orders all that much. So, I mean, yeah. Number four, how? How and why the Espada were formed originally. If you don't understand why they were formed, I, I'm praying for you because it's explained pretty explicitly in Bleach. Like just do a reread of the Hoiko Moon art. Not only would it help you with your information on the series, but it's also a really good art. Um, in my opinion, better than Soul Society. So, you know, you might gain a lot for that. You might, uh, you might gain a little bit of one, respect for Bleach, two, enjoyment, and three, knowledge on the series that you're talking about. I think all those things would be pretty useful. Uh, so I'm not really gonna go over something that like was ex explicitly explained in the series like why they were formed and how they were formed was either shown to us in flashback form or just stated outright by gin tosin or aizen right it's very straightforward i feel like anybody that's seen the series will be able to get it but once again it's cbr so i don't know what i'm expecting uh but the number five yami yargos rank change that's explained it's explained like what doesn't make sense about it the they basically say like oh it's contrived that yami had this ability and sure even if you think it's contrived i don't really care personally but this list isn't about like plot contrivances it's about things that don't make sense like there's logical inconsistencies here right and when there's not really i mean yami's explains you be able to change his rank via his like second resurrection like the unlimited infinite rage right that he has or whatever and that allows him to change his number from like 10 which isn't his real number and then erases the one and it makes him number zero the strongest espada or whatever so it makes sense i mean if you don't like it that's fine but it's not like it's contradictory or unexplained in the series at all number two why they eat and drink i mean who said they need to do so like Okay, let me let me put it like this. Let me put it in the simplest way possible. Clearly, these creatures are relatively close to human, or more like not necessarily human, but more like soul reapers in terms of like their anatomy, right? That's kind of how they were created and modeled, somewhat to some degree, right? Why would the like they don't have to eat? Right, they can do it for pleasure, or they could do it just because, right? Similar to like the palace thing that it was brought up earlier. It doesn't, you don't have to do something out of necessity in order for it to be done and make sense, right? It's also very nitpicky, I think, to go over this because what, what do we see Aizen serve up tea to them in like a mocking fashion once or something like that? Like, it's not really portrayed like, oh, they're heavy eaters and drinkers, right? They're out here like downing chicken and juice or something. It's just not really like that, right? They're just like Aizen presents them, I think, food and drink on like one or once or twice in the series. And that's about it. Uh, but with number one, the finale to CBR's big brained 4D chest list is Kier Hardy Bell's ultimate sacrifice. What? W what doesn't make sense about this? Like, are you talking about it's not explained? Like, we, okay, so what? I don't know why I read this as ultimate sacrifice, by the way. It's ultimate fate. And these CBR really, really haven't been getting to my brain. But in any case, there's this criticism, I guess, or this thing that doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess this may be a little bit of a cop out, but it is kind of covered and can't fear your own world like the light novels for bleach but assuming they're talking about strictly manga and or the anime or a combination with the two considering it would be a lot to expect um cbr to know what they're talking about relating to things such as like bleach um yeah i guess sure it's unexplained doesn't make sense blah 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 sure i'll give you that one out of ten good job cbr you reach an all-time record if you guys want to see more content like this where i explain or, or honestly torture myself going over cbr list make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell down below so you are notified to when i upload links to similar videos will be in the description and cards and end screen for you guys to enjoy at your own leisure but in any case i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always this is broken ronin signing off